think things are going to about to get serious over here. All right, hi guys, this is Johnny Gilbert with Stainless Diesel. I'm gonna talk to you about one of our new series of turbos in our five blade mafia family. It's the, the boss series. Um, we've got a couple videos we're gonna be doing about some of the new stuff that we're, we've been offering uh, and some newer stuff coming down the road. Um, these have been out for a little while. Uh, a lot of people still haven't uh, kind of heard about the new stuff that we're doing. So everybody's aware of stainless diesel and you know, we're, we make big horsepower, we go fast, uh, we win races, we win championships. Um, we have lots of customers that like horsepower. Well, what you may not know is that we have a stock OEM bolt-on upgrades uh, and a couple different levels of that. And this particular level is the Boss Series. We rate these at 700 horsepower. Uh, we've, we've seen 750-ish in that range, but typically rate it around 700 horsepower for your... Um, bolt-on upgrades we'll go kind of into this uh we'll start with the small one here so this particular unit is our hx35 based turbo so you'll notice it uh looks like a factory 12 valve bolt-on turbo because that's what it is some of the um, early vp trucks as well uh so 2002 all the way back to like 1999 98 halfway there's a split year in 98 where 12 valve uh Engines were in for half the season, and uh, the rest of the year, they went to 24-valve that year. So uh, this will bolt on either a 24-valve VP pump truck or the 12-valves as a direct factory bolt-on. So you can use your factory elbow, um, your factory oil feed line, if it's not all old and, and rusty and whatnot. So for the most part, um, factory elbow connection and... Factory exhaust elbow would go here. So some of those guys uh, had some phone calls with some some uh, fellows that like the factory updated engine brake. So there's a, a Banks engine brake that would bolt to the back of this and some other aftermarket ones. Uh, some guys really like that in the older 12 valve tow rigs. Um, and, uh, you know, your typical good T3 flange fits on the factory manifold. Um, so the interesting thing about this is it's definitely larger than stock. So this is a 6367. So if you're not sure what that means, typically the, the 63 portion would be the compressor wheel size in millimeters. So 63 millimeters. Um, this is, we call it a 63 because it's easier to say, but if you sit there and measured it, um, the bore of the housing is gonna be closer to 2.5 inches so for some guys that may want to tow at your local county fair or, or say do a sled pulling or dirt drag racing and you have a class limitation um, 2.5 inch plug this will pass that class uh, for like your local brush pulls uh, sled pulling whatnot um, so the the 67 millimeter sizing is the turbine wheel uh, another thing we do on these units is it's a 10 blade turbine wheel um, <clears throat> basically what that means is there's 10 blades here. Um, factory's 12 and, uh, there's a couple different variations there and factory's quite a bit smaller than this. So high flow 10 blades on the turbine side, um, and our five blade mafia compressor wheel on the compressor side. So same sizing in this whole, uh, family. So 63, 67. Um, one interesting note here, and I'll show you, I'm going to turn the scale on here for you. This is one of our compressor wheels out of our Boss Series units, five blade. It's got an integrated nut, uh, really slim hub, high flow, and as you're about to find out, some pretty lightweight. So here's your factory uh, compressor wheel for an HE351, which is this unit right here. Um, this fits all the 5.9 common rails. Um, 
So here's a factory wheel. This is around 59 and a half millimeters, 59 millimeters, depending on how you measure it. And I put the nut on top of this one because our nut's built in. So 150 grams for the smaller 59 millimeter unit. So here's our 63 and a half. Quite a bit lighter. So what does that mean? It basically means that we have a larger wheel that flows more air, cooler EGTs, more horsepower, faster spool. So this thing can definitely handle some more, more fuel. Um, works well with stock fuel, all the way up to at that 700 horsepower level at the tires. I want to jump over to this HE351 unit for just a minute. So this is a 5.9 common rail unit. It fits 2003 all the way up to 2007 5.9s so as a direct bolt-on. Um, the neat thing about this, it's got the factory sensor provision here uh, for the you know factory sensor slash boost uh, adjuster. And uh, as far as like fitment and whatnot, uh, factory components will bolt on. Uh, the factory elbow will go to this bad boy right here. And uh, it comes, all these things come with gaskets. Uh, you know, essentially uh, manifold gaskets, old drain gaskets, all that good stuff. Same sizing here. Uh, this this turbo would work really well for, um, you know, if you got a just a factory bolt-on, you know, little tuner box, um, as well as handle a little bit of uh, injector upgrade. So as far as um, these two units, um, same compressor wheels, same turbine wheels, same rotor group. So lightweight. Uh, turbine compressor combination, uh, same horsepower capabilities in that 700 range and up slightly. Um, and as far as the uh, newer trucks, we've got the 6.7 unit right here, same 63 millimeters, 67 turbine on this unit here. So this is our Boss VGT. We've had these out for just over a year, year and a half now. Um, really good feedback on them, uh, great performance. Intact exhaust brake, everything's factory bolt-on, and uh, just a really, really good unit. Um, this will make, on a 6.7, the same horsepower level. Documented 700, 720, 750. Uh, every dyno's a little bit different. And uh, as far as fitment, it's a direct factory bolt-on. So lightweight, quick spool, cooler EGTs, and more power. And there you have it. That's the Tow Boss series. I hope you guys like it. Um, let us know if you have any questions on these, be happy to answer them. And in a future video, uh, we're going to explore our Tow Boss, which is essentially our 60 millimeter compressor, 60 millimeter turbine size. So that'll be in a future video. And uh, when you get time, jump on stainlessdiesel.com and poke around and see what all we offer. Thanks, guys. Let us know what you think.